Hey guys, it's Feeding Frenzy coming back to you for another video. Um, I want to talk about the beginnings of aquaponics and uh, you need to watch the first video. Uh, just kind of go over some things. I, it's an introduction video. Uh, I think you should start with system design. So if you haven't done that yet, um, you're, you're, Bruce, don't do that. Come on now. Goodness, he just has to be the center of attention here. Um, where was I? Um, the bacteria, folks. That's what I wanted to get to. Okay, let's say you built your system. Um, it, now everything's flowing right. You've studied the water movement and all the plumbing, and you feel good about it. And because uh, that's that's the major part is making sure that that, that system operates as it should. Uh, you shouldn't be worried about fish yet. So uh, this video is about putting, and I'm going to say goldfish, putting goldfish into your system, and getting your system cycled. Uh, if you're an Aquarius. Um, people that have plenty of experience with fish and aquariums, I would highly encourage you to get involved in aquaponics. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna do very well, more than likely. And um, so let's say that you've got your fish in your system. Um, the bacteria shows up. Uh, the nitrogen cycle is gonna go down. So uh, what happens is they poop, pee, breathe ammonia. And that ammonia, uh, I wouldn't let it go over one part per million. That's getting up there uh, pretty stressful on your fish, okay? So you're going to have to keep that in mind. Um, that's, a, that's plenty to get your system going, but you, you really don't want to go over that. So uh, if you ever see your ammonia spike to a really high level past one uh, part per million, stop feeding your fish. You might even need to do a water change. So keep that in mind. Um, Cycling is dangerous for your fish. I haven't had too many fish losses, again, with goldfish. They seem very, very resistant um, to dying. I'll be honest with you. I mean, I've put them through hell, and they just keep living. Uh, they are very impressive, um, very, very impressive for what you pay for them. Um, so the ammonia shows up. Nitrites show up to eat that ammonia. And these are, these are bacteria. Um... So now you're left with nitrites. That is very poisonous for your fish. That is the most stressful time for your fish. And uh, then after uh, the, the, the uh, nitrites show up, then you've got nitrates. And that's what we're after, folks. Once those nitrates are in that system, your plants are going to really start to wake up and thrive. Um, and that's the beginnings to it all, okay? Um, you're not just in instantly... Um, gonna have these things it takes a lot of time and you're gonna have to feed your fish a high quality high protein food fish flakes are not gonna do it folks you're gonna have to feed them a very high protein diet and um, I would recommend the aquaponics source for uh, your food purchase because they've got and get it from Amazon they've actually got a very good deal on Amazon um, for, for small little fish, you know, um, I, I mean, I've got 60 pounds of it, and that's going to last me w well over a year to feed, you know, average size fish. Um, and it's got a lot of the excellent things that we want for plant development and plant growth and fruit production. I'm, and I'm specifically speaking of systems with hydrotin or some type of pH neutral uh, media. Uh, I use hydrotin. Uh, and, I, and I mix my beds. Uh, there's another product I use called Sunrock, and uh, it's just it's big pieces. Uh, so I like to mix those. Uh, but anyway, that's and that's more um, the reason I like media-based decisions in your aquaponics is because it's an excellent place for your bacteria to live, and it's also added more filtration, biofiltration, solids filtration. But it's just really good for your bacteria, and that way your bacteria is in direct contact with your plants. Uh, but you're also going to need a biofilter. Uh, the media is a biofilter, but I say the more the better. I, I say overbuild your system because you're probably never going to leave it alone once you start building. So I've created a biofilter, and it's that last tank uh, down there before you get to the grow beds. And that's where a lot of the bacteria live. Uh, you create a home for your bacteria. Um, I always thought solids filter and a biofilter were the same thing. And uh, how wrong was I? I mean, come on, good lord. Um, it was just embarrassing. It took me forever just to figure that out. So again, I'm really speaking to you beginners out there, okay? And uh, to conquer your fears and to gain confidence each and every day because it's going to take time to really learn your system, guys. 
Um, nobody else is going to have your system. Nobody else is going to have that. So you're going to have to learn your system. The mathematics are up to you. Uh, there's a few general rules you can follow, but less um, less changes is better. Like uh, as far as the frequency, do things slowly, okay? And this is what I want to get into is water chemistry. I think that's it's really not looked at enough for beginners. Um, you're gonna you're gonna have this nitrifying acid in your system that lowers your pH because my pH was 7.8 and it takes a long time folks for your pH to drop especially in the beginning uh, with a very young system and I can tell you all about this system as, as we make videos and we go along okay because this system has come a very long way in a short time I've pushed this system um, with a new with nutrients and, and in my opinion folks when you're growing fruiting vegetables such as what I'm doing and I think that's the only way to go once you've involved yourself this much with aquaponics is to really go for the for the heavy feeders that make make your aquaponics worthwhile growing lettuce is fun but you can do that in the inside aquarium in your kitchen um, to me this if you're gonna spend all this money on your system and all this time and energy uh, I think you should really go for the big crops and uh, you can see, guys, I'm not a gardener, okay? I really don't have any gardening experience. Um, but this thing does the gardening for you. Um, it's a lot like a computer does uh, mathematical algorithms for human beings. This is the same as a computer uh, as far as a, um, a, a biosphere, if you will, and a biological system that, that we create. So... Um, yeah, I mean, you can see the system, guys. I mean, I've had very good production, I, I, just excellent production. And uh, while I'm still learning plant deficiencies, and we'll get into that in the coming videos, but I, I'm, I'm stressing all of this because there's a lot of expectations that you're going to have in the beginning. And I just want to make sure that you're on a, a good playing field and not keeping them too high and, not, and therefore not getting frustrated because that's usually what happens is our expectations are so high and then sometimes we get let down. So I'm here to tell you just to slow down. Give your system six weeks from the moment water's flowing in it and from the moment fish are flowing in it. Okay, the, once the fish are there, that's when your system has really started, in my opinion. And uh, even when it's cycled, now it's really going, okay? Uh, because you're wanting to establish that bacteria. So, uh, and then that water chemistry. I'm just recapping everything, guys. The water chemistry. Uh, you're going to need to figure out how to study your water. I use the API tests. They're pretty accurate. I mean, it gives you a pretty good ballpark. And, I mean, you can test your water, uh, you know, hundreds of times with these tests. And uh, you can really understand what's going on. So you're going to have that nitrifying acid build up in your system. And uh, it's going to eat up all these carbonates. And it's going to lower your pH in your system. If your pH is not lowering in your system... Um, you have a problem. There's something buffering. And again, that's why I say use hydrotin. It is, I have not had any issues with this stuff. It is truly pH neutral. There's no guessing about it. Um, so, and, and you could put something else in your system. People put eggshells and oyster shells. Those are carbonates, guys. I'm trying to only use carbonates when I absolutely have to because you're, if you're topping off your tank with water from a uh, tap, well, that's got all kinds of carbonates in it, and you're going to lose a lot of control the more carbonates that you have in your system. It's very complex, and that's what I don't think beginners understand, Is no, and no one's really harping on it. They just kind of skim on through it, and I think it deserves to be slowed down and understood. That way you stay in the right place with where you're at in your aquaponics system. I was getting very frustrated. Folks, I did years of research on this stuff, and, and I've had... Uh, two and a half years of hands-on experience. Now, this system is not two and a half years old. The system is only, um, let's see, I don't think it cycled until April, till the end of April. So, um, and then I'll tell you these boneheaded things that I've done with it to, to almost reverse what I did. And it's just pure bonehead. Um, and I'll talk about all these mistakes that I did and I'll show you the recovery and tell you about it, guys. It's unbelievable what these things will do if you'll take the time to build it right and listen to what your system is telling you. And uh, you're going to need to understand fish, bacteria, and plants. And water chemistry, guys, that's the big one. Um, plants love acidic levels of pH. They love it. Uh, 6 to 6.4, yeah, I think that's the sweet spot. Okay, if you're past 6.5, 6.6, .6, let, your, let your nitrifying acid lower your pH. 
okay now if you're just in a situation where you've got plants coming in and you still your water's still high in ph there are ways to uh, buffer it down but you've got to be very careful uh, when doing that because most of the uh, pH issues are going to be rising your pH and we can supplement that and this is an excellent time to end this video and say that we we will go into that as we go make these um, videos and I'm trying to do the best in order guys because there's a lot to it and if you built a good system your plants are gonna grow but they're gonna be telling you something by about that third shoot of leaves you're gonna see deficiencies more than likely. I did, and it took me a long time to figure out why am I showing deficiencies? How could that be? You know, um, so water chemistry, guys. I really think that needs to be talked about with the beginner, because these are just rules that you're gonna to have to deal with. You're gonna have nitrifying acid that lowers that pH, and you're gonna to have to bump it back up. These are the rules, okay? And that's where I think aquaponics is a dangerous word, a dangerous term, because it's, in my opinion, when you're growing fruiting vegetables. Uh, and a lot of them, and I've really pushed this system hard, you're going to have a supplement of nutrients. So again, we're going to end the video, and we're going to go into um, what happens after uh, your pH drops. We'll get back into that, okay? You guys subscribe, please. I really want your feedback. I want any questions, uh, where you're at with your systems. And um, I'm here to help you guys and point you in the right direction, okay?